Right, chaps, we have got to get that to jump further than him in the Top Gear Winter Olympic Ski Slash Car Jumping Champio. Hmm, a 20-year-old, slightly rusty Leyland Mini. So, let's work this out. Mini does 0 to 60 in what? Uh, about 14 seconds. No, about... no, hang on, that's not going to be very relevant, though, is it? Because you're not going to get any grip off the tyres. All you've got up there is gravity. Oh, I know, gravity's a cruel and unpredictable mistress, so... Well, no, it isn't. It's a constant all over the world. But this is quite simple arithmetically. We've got... It's V equals U plus AT. We know what acceleration due to gravity is, 9.8 metres per second squared. But that's weight component down a plane, because it's on a slope. So we need to get the mass of the car, and we need to know the angle of the slope, and then we need to work out also the angle where it gets to the lip where it jumps off and that will give us V, then it will follow a sort of parabolic trajectory. We should be able to then calculate the exact point when the car comes and meets the, meets the snow. That's quite well, easy. I think we should go and get a cup of tea and work that out. So, come on, James. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is gravity going to be enough to get the car down the ramp and beat the skier? No. Right. There we right. have a huge problem. We need some more propulsion because we can't use the engine because that will just spin the wheels. Right. Also, we can't put a driver in it, because obviously he'll be killed, so we're going to have to work something out on steering that can be your job, OK? There's okay. another problem. Once it's set off, we've got to stop it at some point, otherwise it'll just soar over there and take out Lillian. So I'll work out a way of stopping it. Right, guidance for you. Stopping. Breaking for you. And then I'll figure out some way of the power. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I the power. Let's get about our business. Yeah. Right. I'll take my tea. Earl Grey in Norway. Whoever nice. would have thought it. I know. The skier. Okay. Our first job was to mark the point where the skier had landed, so we knew the distance to beat. Unfortunately, James was no Sir Edmund Hillary. You've got to paint it across. <laughs> There you go, I've done it. No, no, you've got to get it across the whole way No, across. that'll do. It won't do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> How hard can it be? With James proving his own laws of gravity, I got on with the business of power. Hi, is that the United Kingdom Rocketry Association? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Jeremy Clarkson here from Top Gear and I need some rockets. Soon, though, it went dark again. So we went to the pub. Nice to meet you. Damien. The next morning, the Rocketeers arrived and announced that they could give the Mini twice as much thrust, pound for pound, than an F-15 jet fighter. I've taken drag, aerodynamic drag, ski friction, gravity, and the thrust of three Contrail hybrid rocket motors into it. This is rocket science. This is rocket science. But then I saw the rockets. Why are you going to buy these from post offices in November? You just wait until you're up there. Are these really going to give enough thrust? They are. Yes, more thrust than you can handle. <laughs> <laughs> and so where? We put them here? Yeah, no, no. come on, Jeremy, that way round. Down here somewhere. Take the boot out, take the back out. Yeah. Rip that off. Let's get Rip that Let's off. have a boot full. Meanwhile, I'd chosen a spot to build my snow barrier. I think about here. Or here. Yep. I think. Right. Bug. How fast was the skier going when he left the thing? 56 miles an hour. We're going to be going 83 miles an hour. This meant Hammond had to think big. <sighs> Richard Hammond, how's the braking going? Yeah, it's going well. It's going well. By this stage, Spider-Man had finally got to the top of the ski jump. When the skier goes down, how does he... How does he... How does he stay in the middle? Oh, in, it has uh, drags. Grooves. Liquid nitrous oxide. Yeah. And that's got all the oxygen in it. Yeah. Yeah. And in the bottom end, yeah. fuel, which is rubber. Don't. Here's a tip. 
Please, I'm a doctor of engineering twice. If you put, if you use rubber as fuel, you're not going to go as far as if you use like petrol or dynamite. Hey, Jeremy. Do you think you could mount it on skis? Why, Why? does he want skis? Just trust me, if you put it on the skis, I can keep it dead straight. I'll have to make them. Well, yes. Obviously, we can't go to the ski rental shop and say, have you got some skis for a mini? James, the track is 1,300 millimetres. And with those measurements, the Icemen could now cut their special grooves. If I lose it now, I'm going to end up in the Lilyhammer Asda. I'm sure this team. Okay, scientists have found a job for me to do. Does anyone want Earl Grey? No! With my skis fitted, the rockets installed, and the ice grooves coming along nicely, James and I dropped in on Hammond yep, to inspect is. his snowbank. I can guarantee that won't stop the Mini. Partly because it's not substantial enough, but mostly because you've built that in front of that slope and the Mini is coming down that one. Right? <laughs> right up. What a complete... Oh, okay. <laughs> Some adjustments. Did nobody tell you? No, no. obviously, <laughs> or I'd have built it over there. <laughs> that is fairly embarrassing. <laughs> what I need... Mean. <laughs> He's a big machine. <laughs>